absolutely in love. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh. At first, I was like, I don't know. I think I like the pink better, but I don't know. What's up, guys? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. It is me, D Wood, back again with another video. Voice sounding kind of early morning ish because it is. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. I decided I wanted to dye my hair purple with lavender, like a lilac lavender type of color. Um, so I was like, let me show everybody. Y'all actually voted for this color because I wasn't sure what color I was going to do, right? Y'all voted for this color. <laughs> it's the people's choice. Before we get into the video, I want to let y'all know that I had to do this twice. The first time I did it, it was a complete fail and I hated it. I felt like I looked like a now and later. So I'm gonna show you how I got rid of that to get this. It wasn't that hard of a process, but it was definitely um, a little unnecessary. Had I just done the right thing first, ugh, me always trying to be extra. Like, y'all gonna see in the video. Now that I kinda let y'all know what's going down in the video, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. <laughs> So the color that I'm using today is Orchid by Kiss Temptation. And when I dyed my hair pink, I actually used this same brand. And it was very moisturizing. So I was like, I'm gonna just do it again. So I really don't want it. Well, I'm not really sure what I want. I just know I want like a lavender lilac -y color, like very, very pastel. So this is literally all the conditioner that I have. So I was like, let me flip it upside down. <laughs> it's like, I don't even want to flip it back because I need every bit of drop every last bit every drop i just tried to put two phrases together what is called tropical coconut by suave and i just use it because it's white so i can see the color of the dye got my mixing bowl got my 1997 2001 <laughs> applicator brush and a glove okay so i decided i'm gonna start off with the conditioner and I'm putting a lot because I don't want my color to be too vibrant and I'm only gonna put a little bit of this let me mix it oh no I clearly need more okay I'm gonna put some more I'm gonna do a little bit more See, I'm afraid it's not going to take. Okay, let me do a little bit more. I'm going to do a little more. <laughs> not me being hella indecisive. What y'all think? I'm going to do a little more. So that's enough. I ain't putting no more. Just a little bit more maybe. But that's all. I'm, I'm seriously not putting nothing else. Or maybe I should do more. I don't want it to be too dark. Okay, so this is my little mixture. So I guess I'm just gonna start YOLO, right? Uh, I don't know if this is gonna take. I don't know what possessed me to do this on a day where I actually have somewhere to be. What is going on in my brain? Do y'all think this is gonna work? Comment below. And let me know if y'all think this gonna work. Cause I don't know if I have high, high hopes. <laughs> okay, so I decided to do a little bit more. So I think, I don't know how I'm gonna do it. So I decided I'm gonna just mix up, oh no, see this is too deep now. So I mixed up a deeper color and I'm gonna use it for my edges because my edges are so thin and so short. I just want the purple to at least show on them. Girl, I promise y'all, I'm literally winging this. <laughs> so I really hope it comes out good. Okay, so this is the color that I'm working with so far. Hopefully it comes out good because, I don't know, the purple is just kind of scary to me. So, we'll see. <laughs> okay, so this is what it looks like. And I'm trying to decide if I like it or not. It's not looking like I like it. 
So the crazy thing is, it did what I was trying. <sighs> Y'all, I don't know. I'm kind of annoyed because I don't like it. And I'm hoping I'll like it better when it's done. I should have just stuck with my gut because this is actually the color I wanted, not this. And y'all remember when I was like, I'm gonna add a little bit of the darker color to be sure that my edges actually get some color? Yeah, mistake. I shouldn't have done that. I would have preferred if my edges were lighter and the actual hair was darker. Cause I feel like I like light colors to frame my face. And I don't know if I like this. I'm trying to see in the viewfinder if it's giving what I was hoping it would give, but so far it's not. I'm just kind of bummed out. So sorry if my energy is low. I'm just, this has really killed my vibe, like legit. And I mean, I could just bleach it out. It's not a big deal, but I don't really have time. So I guess that's why I'm like kind of annoyed because I don't have time to try to fix it. I literally just have to go out looking like this. But whatever, it's done. So I guess y'all can just watch me style my hair. Hopefully when I take this do-rag off, it looks better, but I don't think so. I'm not happy, that just ruined my mood. We're back and I ended up really, really hating this purple. I tried to like it, I really did, but it just wasn't happening. So as you can see, there's two different purples here. When I put the darker color here, it really took and I should have just kept it all this color. <sighs> so we're gonna try this again. I'm gonna try to remove all of this color by doing what they call a bleach bath. I've never done this before, so we about to see. So what they say you'll need, like I said, this is literally my first time trying to do this. So. I have my bleach, I have my 20 volume developer, neutralizing shampoo, and they say that you'll need some water. Let me actually watch a video so I can better understand and then I'm gonna come back and mix it up for y'all. There was a video that I saw by Brad Mondo. So, let me see, Brad. Okay, so I'm about to watch this Brad Mondo video to see how he mixed it and then I'm gonna show y'all how I mix mine. So I really don't know the dimensions. <laughs> so I'm just gonna eyeball this. I think I'm gonna do two scoops. Just so I can make sure I have enough. Ooh, that is so strong. And then, I guess I'll do the 20 volume developer next. I don't really know how much I'll need. So I'll just do that much and then, Excuse my workstation, by the way. Then I'm gonna do the neutralizing shampoo. Oh God, maybe I shouldn't have. I didn't know it was gonna be this orange. I don't think it'll stain my hair. And then he said a little bit of water. So hopefully this works. I've literally never done this in my life. Oh Lord, so already I think this is kind of wrong. Cause this just doesn't look right. To be completely honest. Maybe I'll add a little bit more water to it.
Okay, so I have it mixed up. I'm gonna go ahead and put my gloves on and we are about to see. It is currently 2.37. So hopefully this doesn't burn because I have been scratching my hair. Also, I wanna add that I've washed this hair twice already and it's just still not giving what I wanted to give. So that's why I'm deciding to just try this all over because I don't really like this color at all. I'm gonna start in the front cause that's where like the more the most purple is. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna use my fingers. Oh wow. It's literally coming out already. Oh my. Okay, well let me hurry up. Okay, can y'all see that? The purple is literally just coming right out. Okay, so I, I need to hurry up. And it's not burning or anything. Okay, so that's pretty much the gist of it. The color looks like it's out. Let me make sure to get these edges real good. I have a feeling my hair is gonna be very, very yellow after I do this, so I'm probably gonna have to go in with the purple shampoo, but we'll see when we get there because I don't wanna put the dye over yellow hair if you get what I'm saying. So I'm about to go wash this out and I'm gonna come back and let y'all see what it looks like. <laughs> okay y'all, so I am fresh out of the shower and that worked way better than I expected it to. And it literally wasn't even in my hair for 15 minutes. I literally put it in and y'all saw the color just disappeared. And I washed it out and we are back. Okay, so this is what my hair is looking like. Fully dry, it's a little wet still right here. Um, but I think it'll be just fine. I am about to use my purple shampoo to go ahead and tone this yellow out because I don't want to try to do this on, look at my edges right here, y'all. <laughs> I want my hair to be as cool tone as possible. So um, I'm going to throw this in and then wash it out and then it'll be actually time to redo the dye. <laughs> my words are all over the place because I just had a coffee. Y'all know me and caffeine. Anyway, let me go ahead and do this. <laughs> Okay, out of breath because I just ran up the stairs. But as you can see, my hair is a lot cooler toned. I just left my, <sighs> I'm so out of breath. I just left my purple shampoo in for seven minutes. Typically I leave it in for 10, but um, something just told me to do it for seven today. So I'm gonna let my hair dry all the way and then we're gonna get into the dyes. Okay, so we are actually about to go ahead and mix this color up. I'm gonna start off with the conditioner again. And I'm using white conditioner. Ooh, this conditioner is kind of thick. Using the same color orchid. I am gonna put maybe like that much. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of the conditioner because this one is like really thick. Okay. And a smidge more of the purple. And I might add a little bit of pink to it. 
because I did want my purple to be a little bit more pink, if that makes sense. I'm gonna do a little bit more. Y'all think that's gonna take? So I think I'm gonna just add a little bit of the pink petal. It's the same brand, it's just a different color. And I'm gonna do about that much of the pink. Adding that didn't really look like it did anything. So I guess I'm gonna just do a little bit more of each. And I'm eyeballing this, y'all. No true rhyme or reason. <laughs> okay, so this is the color I'm going to go with. It is what it is at this point. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. But that's all I can tell you. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, we'll roll with it, let's see. Okay, so this is what it looks like. This is my first time looking at it in the mirror. And I definitely like this version 10 times better. I like it. I don't love it as much as I did the pink, but I can rock with this. I definitely can. Okay, I can rock with this. I definitely can. Like I said, I like this better than the first time, but I don't love it as much as I loved the pink hair. Okay, let's style it. And it feels really good. I really actually like this conditioner. Curl Perfection Conditioner from Pantene. <laughs> I really do like that and it smells good. All right, so as y'all see, I'm all purpled out today feeling like the girl violet off of um charlie and the chocolate factory but y'all gotta see this hair <sighs> i love it and i don't even mind like the little rootage that i got going on like you can kind of see i got a little black roots growing i truly don't mind long ways to get here but we finally made it amen and i'm so happy i like it because if i didn't like it i was probably gonna bleach it out again and that would have been like the fourth time putting bleach on my head but anyway um that's all i got for y'all today i will see y'all in the next video before you leave go ahead and subscribe thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what color I should do next. If you like this color, if you like the blonde better or the pink better, let me know. I'm curious to know. I wanna talk to y'all. <laughs> okay, that's it. I'll see y'all in the next one.